Well, you know, I was just honored to be on, nominated on the list of 91. And so then when I made the top five, I was shocked. I was just, there are so many wonderful teachers in the Sioux Falls School District. And so it's, it's, it's just an honor. Structure Teach meets the needs of a wide variety of students. Um, some of our students have cognitive impairments, so that means their IQ is 73 or below. So they just have a harder time learning to read and to write and to do their math. Um, some kids don't necessarily have that cognitive impairment. They may have autism. And so Structure Teach provides that structure, that predictability, that consistency that some kids with autism um, need to thrive and to grow and to learn. Um, and um, uh, some of our other kids just have, well, all of our students actually have, you know, behavioral challenges. And so we just take them in and we really work on appropriate social skills. So we may teach them how to follow directions. It may be accepting no. It may be um, using our words, keeping our hands and feet to ourselves, um, working with others, using appropriate voice tone. And so we not only focus on academics, like all teachers do, but just as equally as our focus on academics is that focus on the social skills. To be a good teacher in a behavior program, relationships is the most important thing. You have to establish that relationship. You have to get to know the student. They need to know you. They need to trust you. You have to have that relationship so that um, you can help them during their toughest times, you know, with their biggest challenges. And so you want to get that relationship established. But yes, our ultimate goal is that we can get them back in their neighborhood school. Well, when I was in high school, I went to a Gorman High School here in Sioux Falls, and I had a Christian service class. And so back then, that's when South Sioux was open, and that was a school that just was a school for kids with cognitive impairments and I did volunteer work there and I just fell in love working with kids with special needs and so then through my college years I continued to volunteer there and you know so in high school that's when I knew that I wanted to go into special education and then I um, went to Augustana College and then I graduated and I got a job in the Sioux Falls School District and back then they called it um, LRE, least restrictive environment, but it was basically um, kids with you know learning challenges, and so I started out at um, LBA was my first school. Then they moved the program. I just followed the program. I went from LBA to Horace Mann here, and then I went from Horace Mann to um, John Harris, and then. So I taught, I think, for about 12 years it, with kids with cognitive impairments. And then I left the classroom for a short while and I was integration specialist and autism team leader. So I focused in on really um, helping individuals who help kids with autism. I did autism screens, autism evals. I coordinated the discrete, discrete trial program. It's a, an approach that we use with kids who have autism. And so I did that for probably about seven years and then I really missed the kids. So I went back to the classroom, taught Cluster, which is now called RISE. And um, then I actually left the district for two years and I taught at the college level. But I really missed the, the students, the, the young kids, and I missed the action of the classroom. And so then that's what brought me to Horace Mann here, and the behavior program. The most rewarding is just having those relationships with the students, you know. Um, seeing their eyes light up when they understand something or when they use their words and praising them and then they go, um, you know, oh, I, I did that, I used my words. And just giving them the skills that they need to be successful, you know, in the, um, in the school setting, in their home, in the community. You know, I just want people to know that Horace Mann is a warm, welcoming, um, kind, loving environment. And we really just take the kids in where they are and we look at their strengths and we look at their needs. And then we, you know, devise a program to really improve those needs. And, um, you know, we do a lot of wonderful things for kids on a daily basis here in this program. And it's just, you know, extremely rewarding. We have a great group of teachers here. Um, you know, we, we come together, we collaborate, we'll have really good discussions about, you know, is that what Boys Town meant? Are we implementing this with fidelity? We will talk about our, our data during um, um, co collaboration and common planning time and talk about, you know, oh, this student's making gains, this one isn't, you know, how can we change that instruction? What can we do to better um, meet their needs, you know, not only academically but socially too. Well, you know, I've come across many people who have been mentors to me, people who do what I do, are willing to help other people, you know, teach them a skill, teach them some knowledge, um, give them some experience. Um, I, um, I, um, you know, just believe that it's um, so important to, to help others. I believe that the district has done a wonderful job of um, providing professional development. When I left the classroom when I was autism team leader, I had opportunities to, you know, get trained in discrete trials. And so the district has provided us with wonderful resources and knowledge and experiences to help us become better teachers. The great feeling I get about my job, you know, working with the kids, helping them learn and helping them grow. And I feel as a you know, veteran teacher that if I can share 
any knowledge or experience I have with the younger teachers coming on board, I'm going to take that time to do that because I don't think people should reinvent the wheel. You know, if I've done something, if I know something, I'm happy to, you know, help them write that IEP goal or I'm happy to help them understand their test scores or, you know, write a good report or I'm happy to brainstorm. Um, sometimes people, just because of my professional experience with autism, people will come to me and say, you know, this is what happened, what could I do about that, what strategy could I use? And I'm, you know, more than happy to share that information with other people because, you know, my goal isn't just to help my own students learn, but to help all students learn. You know, it's the students that drive me, it's the students that when I wake up in the morning, that's the reason that I want to come to school, because um, they're all so unique and interesting in their own way, and they all have wonderful strengths, and they all have some areas that we want to grow on, and so it's just, um, you know, I take that and I, I look at that child and I figure out how can I make those needs turn into strengths, and, you know, just help them become the best person they can be.